Senator Tom Cotton says the nation's wealthiest colleges are indoctrinating young people with what he calls un-American ideas. He is proposing a new tax targeting the largest private endowments. Uh, he says it would raise two million dollars a year. I wonder, does the president believe that our largest, uh, our wealthiest schools are indoctrinating our youth with un-American ideas? And would he support such a tax? Is it a good idea? Now you've intrigued me. What are the un-American ideas that are indoctrinating our youth? The legislation doesn't lay out the precise... Uh, oh, he's not specific about the indoctrination by leaders from universities? Well, he's been critical of, for example, the 1619 Project. He's been critical, uh, spoken about critical race theory. He's, uh, he's claimed that there's a liberal uh, bias on campus that uh, targets conservatives, I think would be a way to put it. What's he going to do with the money? Uh, he wants to use it for um, programs for... Um, my mind, I'm having a hard time coming up with the word. Uh, when you have job training, uh, those sorts of things. Uh, well, uh, without much detail of where he thinks our youth are being indoctrinated, it sounds very mysterious and dangerous. Uh, although I don't think that, I don't think we would think, we believe that uh, educating uh, the youth and next, then leaders of the future leaders of the country on systemic racism is indoctrination. That's actually responsible. But I would say if he's trying to raise money for something, um, then our view is there's lots of ways to do that. Uh, we know that a number of corporations uh, hugely benefited financially during the pandemic. They could pay more taxes. We think the highest 1% uh, of Americans can pay more taxes. And if he wants to have a conversation about worker training, we'd love to have him over and have that conversation.